How'd it go? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a great show. We had a lot of traffic. More than I thought we'd have this year. Did you get the room to work out? Okay, we'll just make it sort of over here and. That's it. Yeah. That was the way we did it. We fired them out towards the door. Yeah. People were immersed in the soundstage and were they're really happy with that, with the imaging and how the bass wasn't so boomy. What are these things down here then? These two oh. boxes. Forgot about these. This yeah. one is coming really soon. This is a prototype of a ultra capacitor power supply that mm. can be used to power external devices. Right. So this was today um, during the whole show was powering the micro rendu and this CD transport. Okay. I set it to seven volts, but the customer could have it anywhere from three to 12 volts. Yep. When we go into production, we'll be doing pre-orders later this month and then shipping them in November. And it outputs two and a half amps continuously, uh -huh. five amp peak, and it's all linear for charging the, the actual ultra capacitors. Yep. So this has a detachable power cord. Mm -hmm. I'll try to bring it around. Yeah, it'd be cool if you can yeah. break it down. Yeah. Micro Rhino take from seven to nine, I believe. This heat sink here is all for the linear charging of it. Mm -hmm. So you feed in your AC cord, mm -hmm. output is isolated, pure DC, mm -hmm. bellows and super regulated output. And we're gonna do a larger version next spring, which will be more like the size, of, closer to that of the Leo with the larger yeah. D-cell ultra caps. And that one will be able to output 10 amps. Right. And we're gonna make that modular where the customer could put multiple modules for different output voltages. So I hate to say it, it's a little bit like the wired for sound. You know, have you seen that? No, I have not. So they've got a modular linear power supply that you, where you can uh, you can add m four modules. Oh, and, cool! And they're all adjustable to. So the linear supply. But it's not ultra cap. Right. 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 But there's another company doing ultra cap power supplies. Yeah, there's another company um, in California that they're working on that. So. Mm. Do you, do you feel that maybe they took inspiration from you, Vinny? Yeah, they, they told me that they saw me at one of the RMAFs or mm. shows a year or two ago and thought it was a cool idea. And yeah. So. They borrowed it. I, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we will. <laughs> and what is your unit going to sell for? Your passport, yeah. So this one is going to have a pre-order price of $7.95. Mm. And then after that, it's going to be a $9.95. The larger one, I have no idea on pricing mm. at this point. So if you want to take your micro rendu or similar kind of device off grid, this is the way to go. Yeah, um, micro rendu is one example. Mm -hmm. There's lots of other things like stacks, small preamps and phono stages, turntable mm -hmm. motors. Uh, I was talking to a guy who has uh, field coil speakers and those run on 12 volts mm -hmm. and need about an amp for the field coil. So this would take care of that as well. Some guys yeah. were using like battery, but it's inconvenient. Mm -hmm. So you get that with this. Yeah, cool. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure.